Right, three hours later, faffing about, filing, sanding, disking things. It's ready for a dry build. Let's see how it's going to look. <laughs> right, in all the speed of getting this done, the brackets, I put them on, two simple brackets, upright like that and then bolt the light between. But I found out that the two bolt holes on the light that present themselves quite nicely, if you look over from the top, they're wider, they're not parallel. So the brackets need to lean outwards to pick them up. And the easiest way to do that, where are we? Was like that. Simply cut them, all I've done is cut those, lean the base out, and then filled it with weld, ground it back so it's square. Now, all that means is that now they fit and they lean outwards like that. That's the easiest way to do it. The minimum amount of brackets. I did think for a minute, what I was toying with today at work was just toying with taking the original fairing frame, cutting all the stuff off it except for that stem. Because the original fairing frame links in here and I've had a look at it, but it's all rusty tube steel and it looks real flimsy as well. Whereas this, Bit of billet and it's a bit of beef and these are cool so it's this less metal less bracketry so it looks good right what I'm going to do is a quick dry build and which one goes on which one which one goes on which side pan <laughs> don't ask me I wasn't here right okay okay so all that does there's a, a brass block in there it's quite a beefy little brass block in a beefy plastic molded part of the light so I'm just going to use that as the mount that was the original mount so why not use it, use what you have and all that. And all they'll do is just a neat little Allen bolt onto there. And the nice part of it is I get a flat mount in at the bottom now and that slants in. So that now follows the line of the light so it will look less obtrusive than a flat bracket, which is kind of a little happy accident really. And is there any better kind? That one there. Now when I fit, this is just a dry build, I'm just going to bolt it together and see if it actually works or whether I've got to go back to the drawing board and throw it all under the bench. You know how it is boys, plenty of stuff under the bench. Right, so that's them. Bolted on that, it's just pop them straight down. I've needed a couple of washers because when I did them, that was the plan, or they were going to go like that and bolt on, but as you can see, they missed the bracket completely so they've had to come in to catch the bracket which is why they're now chamfered at that angle, which is good because that slants and you can hardly see them from the front, which is better. Uh, but that's made them shorter. Naturally slanting something in makes it shorter, so a washer is all it takes, I reckon. Just pop in some bolts. These are just little Allen bolts, just for a test fit. Not gonna bolt this on yet because it's got to be painted still. There we go. See if it lights up. <laughs> See if it lights up first. Yeah, all this old fancy <laughs> bolting on. Now there's a couple of little bolt loops here, which you can see. Now obviously, I'm just gonna leave them on for a minute because I've got another little plan to go further with this light to make it look just a little bit cooler, a little bit of a cowling going on, and I'll need something to bolt it to. So I'm just going to leave them on. If I don't need them in the end, they'll simply get locked off because they're only plastic. And that should bolt straight on. The great thing with this light is it's all polycarbonate, the whole thing. It's a three-piece light. Um, the sort of standard equipment. Uh, you get a plastic polycarbonate front, which with these clips, you've seen these, you get these little clippy clips, like that, which just hold the polycarb lens onto the backing. So if you get a stone through that, you can just replace this and they're about 20 quid. So it's not expensive. Quite nice, because if you break a headlight, you know what it's like. You are usually in for a big bill and not on this one. And you've got a bit inside the lens as well. So even if the lens or the, the mirror, should I say, inside corrodes or starts to lose its reflectivity, that's then I can just replace tight. it. Pretty much. Right, so the whole lot pretty beef on the front there. Just got to plug it in because all of this is no use if it don't work. 
So I've got the original, because this is the original light, I've got the original plug for the side light and the headlight bulb. Let's see if it works. Ready, Ben? Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Go. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Woo! There we are, we have light. He said, let there be light. Now, the great thing is as well, I know that the aim is correct on that because if you look on the side there, that would have been the original mount in the original fairing frame and that's how much room there was at the back, which is why when you ever you did anything with the headlight, you had to take it out the front of the fairing. So I know that that aim's correct, but if it's not, these brackets, all this is just easy. Get a couple of spanners on it and just bend it until it's exact. And on here, just on the back, you've got these adjusters there top one for um, up and down plane uh, what's that called vertical plane and one for horizontal plane so I can move the light around it's actually quite a smart head like that for what it's worth but it looks a bit crap like that so it's going to get something a little bit cool done to it so let's whip it all off and it's time for prepping and bodywork these ready to go Ah, polycarbonate, no smash, maybe a split. In fact, there is a little crack there, but there's no hole in it, so I probably, I know, call the windscreen guy. Okay, let's take that off, because that's got to be tainted too. And there she is. Somebody asked me on a question on the comments page where you get these. What is it? What's the name of it? What company sold it? Where you go? Honestly, I don't know, folks. I have no idea. I got this from a, a mate, oh God, forever ago. We're probably talking 15, 20 years ago when bandits were kind of really cool and everyone was modding them and stuff like that. He bought it, didn't like it, put twin LED lights on it, didn't look right, and he just gave it to me, didn't want it, so yeah, I didn't have that. And I don't know where you get them from. It's a little bit, it's a little bit bent there, isn't it? Straighten out the device. So I'm going to do this now. So sorry, I don't know. I don't know where you get them from. You might try Just Bandits. I know that Just Bandits do all kinds of stuff for bandits. Uh, I'm going to get the old paint out and the scuffage and let's get them body worked so it's all in one piece ready to bolt on and then we can move on. Ready for paintage. Here we go, right. Now, I've said this before, five wheel paint. Wheel paint is like primer somehow. It goes on bare metal without any primer and it stays on. So what I've got a can, which I've got loads of it, I'll just use that for primer. Just a light touch over it, just to make a tack coat ready for the black. Now this is just a coat of paint for now, I'm not going to worry too much about the whole scrim thing and turning it into the, you know, the dobbage, what was it called? Swadging. Swadging. I'm not going to do any swadging on this. It's just a bracket, so it's just getting painted. I really do want to kind of hustle now and get this bike. It's taking us ages. It's taking bloody ages, isn't it? It's ridiculous. Yeah. Problem is, it's just the lack of time to do anything. There's a total lack of, of, of time, either working or working. With the idiot, or working. Working or working. Yeah, working some more or playing with the idiot collective. By the way, everyone, Brightona this weekend. Are you coming? If not, why not? Last year was a sodding washout, absolute washout. If you were there, then <laughs> no one was there. It was about three of us well, there. Well, you weren't because obviously <laughs> no one was there. There was just about four. No, there was about two or three hundred people at Brightona last year, and there's usually twenty-five thousand. So that's how crap it was. It absolutely pissed down from the moment we left, didn't it, till the moment we got home, and it mm. did not let up. Uh, the stall holders all gave up, didn't they? Buggered yep. off about midday. So it we all went up the pub. A washout, yeah, we just went. For Sunday pub. lunch. Absolutely. So, Brighton being Brighton, it will recover. And 
this weekend should be fantastic. So if you're coming to Brightona, get yourself down there. It's going to be a fantastic weekend. It'll be nice to meet you. If you see us wandering about aimlessly, then come and say hello. <laughs> Which we do all the time. Which we do most of the time. It's dripping off now. It's too much on it. Let's get a hair dryer and just suck the thinners out of that for a minute. Right. Amazing. That just dries it right out. Baby. If this was a project, a proper project, or a proper bike build, obviously I'd just get these powder coated and they'd look the business, but it's not as rat bike, so they're just going to get square black. This doesn't really need any paint, this thing, because it's anodized, clear anodized, it'll stay, it won't corrode or anything, but it just matches it into the bike a little bit. That's it. Right, now time to do it up proper. Have a little dome bolts. Can you hold that with your other hand? Put the torch down. Can you hold that? Just hold that. Oh. God damn me, even there's two of you, you can't do it. Not Debbie McGee, you know. <laughs> Debbie McGee, that's magic! <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. A washer under those just spaces them up enough. All sits completely independent, nothing touches anything else. That's it. Right, here we are. Final assembly. Even looks beef as well, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Let's get that done. Up. Right, it's going to nip them up for now on the basis I've got to set the aim exact. All these brackets that I've done here, all this bracketry is. It's all got big 10 mil holes. So there's 10 mil holes in the bracket at the bottom, eight mil holes in there. So all of it can move around and jiggle about and I get the aim exact. But that is beef. Right, lights, do we have all that? There we go, mm -hmm. all working. Even got dip and main. Fantastic, the system works, excellent. Right, and that was quite cool because I was able to just plug everything in there and I quite like that, being as it's the standard light. Naturally it won't do on its own. It looks a bit kind of cool, a bit detached, and it will look more in proportion when the clocks are there, filling this space slightly, and I've got something for them. The clocks are painfully standard at the moment. It's gonna be nice to have a fuel gauge, a rev counter, and all that sort of thing. Um, but got this to deal with, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. Obviously you can see here, this chafage has gone on. Again, the wiring's in a bit of a shite state, so that's all got to be dealt with. So the next one will be clocks. So we get these all cleaned up and put back on and working and sure everything's safe and okay with them. And a bit of a modification on them as well. So they look a little bit more like this and a bit less like that. Okay, Saturday night now. Mm -hmm. Saturday night, see you for Brightona. You coming? Look forward to seeing you there. Come over and say hello, like I said. We like to meet people. That's what this channel's about. Meet people in the real world, not just online. Okay, take it easy. Right safe, thanks for watching number 27. Yep, 28, I don't know. Uh, 28, 27. See you next time.